<laughs> yes, it is coming to us. All right, Justin, thank you. We got uh, more traffic cones right now. They're heading to East Las Vegas. You got a major road. It's going to be closed and also may impact your commute as well. Yes, yeah, so crews there are rebuilding the final section of the 95 bridge. We have a look at the area there on the map. Uh, we are talking about you might remember that this closure happened late last year as well. All right, so reporter Elizabeth Court right now is in that area explaining how this uh, might uh, impact you and also your family. Well, Todd, the headache continues for people living near Desert Inn and the 95. This is a pretty good idea of what they're dealing with. You can see a big sign straight ahead warning people of these closures. And then behind that, there are tons of cones lining the street. You know, we spoke with one woman over the weekend who says this construction has impacted everything she does, and it takes her an extra hour in the morning and at night just to get back home. It is kind of hard to try to have transportation going this way and everything's going to be closed off. And then I have to go all the way around just to catch a bus, just to get to work and to drop my daughter off at school. And you can tell just how frustrated she was when we talked to her this weekend. Now this section of Desert Inn Road will be closed to drivers and pedestrians as crews work to complete the final portion of the Desert Inn Bridge. As with previous closures of Desert Inn, NDOT has worked with CCSD and RTC to provide transportation to pedestrians. Those needing assistance can call RTC's customer care line at that number on your screen at 702. 2287433. Now keep in mind this area is going to be closed all the way up until Friday at about 4 p.m. And Zora Asbury joins us now live from our traffic center. Zora, we were talking about this earlier. We know that this area is typically, you know, packed with traffic, but I just can't even begin to imagine how crazy it's going to be this week. What do people need to know if they typically travel through this area to get home or even to get to work? Alyssa, a great question. So this is kind of the area where Boulder Highway and the 95, two very busy areas intersect, right? So the best thing for folks to do, since Desert Inn is closed both eastbound and westbound, you're going to want to take Sand Hill if you usually take Desert Inn eastbound. If you take it westbound, you're going to want to take Lamb and take that to Boulder Highway, and that should get you around this project. Additionally, we also have the US 95. That off-ramp is going to be closed throughout the week as well. So where you see all of these cones lined up, you'll have to expect there to be only one lane in each direction. As we take a look here, this is going to be live drive. He's been driving through that area along the 95, checking in with the cone zone, seeing if it's impacting traffic just yet this morning. But right now, things looking nice and clear. Of course, it is set to begin tonight at 8 o'clock. So we'll continue tracking that area as well as areas like the 95 and the 15 here through the Spaghetti Bowl. We are seeing a lot more cars out there on this Monday morning.